We all know children learn in different ways, and Montessori is a technique that more and more parents are checking out. So we're going to talk about this today. I'm Sunny with New Mommy Media, and I'm joined here with Simone Davy. She's a best-selling author and a Montessori educator. Hi, Simone. Thanks so much for being with us. Hi, Sunny. Thanks so much for having me. Okay, so let's start at the beginning. What is Montessori? How do you typically describe this to parents that aren't familiar with it? Yeah, I usually first describe Montessori in its educational setting, like for a preschool class and how you would walk in and instead of seeing a teacher standing at the front of the classroom, you see children all working on their own activities. Some of them working in pairs, some of them side by side, and some of them might just be standing and observing other children at work because actually, you know, you learn a lot by observing other children. And you have a mixed age of children as well, say from three to six-year-olds or six to nine, nine to 12-year-olds. So you have older children who are learning to help younger children and consolidate their own learning while they're doing that and then younger children who are picking things up so naturally from older children you know you know yourself you've got four children how quickly the young ones learn from the older children and so it's really a hands-on method there's beautiful materials laid out in the classroom so instead of the teacher saying this is what you should do today the child knows where they're up to and they can go and select an activity that they know um, from the shelves it could be from maths or geography there's um, botany zoology language and so it's such a rich environment there's also taking care of the classroom and each other so it's also building a lot of the soft skills which are overlooked in our traditional education system so then Montessori for babies and for toddlers is applying these same principles at home how can I treat my child individually rather than a milestone chart that tells me my child's meant to be doing this by this time how do we slow down and give them time to explore with their hands because they're sensorial learners they don't need a tablet um, or an iPhone they need real things in their hands and conversation with us is also a important material as well right absolutely so for parents that are just checking this out how do you know if this is a good fit for your child I mean are there some kids that this may not work well for like I, I'm even thinking of you know children with any kind of learning disabilities or anything like that like is there anything that parents need to be aware of as they're considering this for their family yeah so we uh, like to say as Montessori education that Montessori is for every child because it, it does treat every child uniquely like if a child comes to my class I want them to feel like I'm observing them I'm waiting to respond to them in a way that they want to be responded to so one child's going to bounce up to you to say hello and another's going to be a bit more hesitant and I'm going to adjust to every child so right. that's what we do as a parent is that we keep adjusting um, to every child that's in front of us if you have more than one child you'll adapt and parent in that unique way um, if you have a child that learns kinesthetically that means with their hands it works for them as well as a child who will learns visually or orally we all learn in different ways and I love that the Montessori method is so holistic in that way um, I love it if they give you have a child that really watches and that's how they learn and there's another child that kind of just repeats and repeats and repeats until they've mastered it and it works for both of them as well and people also say well maybe Montessori is only my child's so busy so I don't think they'd work in a Montessori classroom they always look so peaceful and quiet and I actually say I think they're actually perfect for a Montessori classroom because imagine them in a <laughs> traditional classroom where they have to sit still all the time you know at least they can go and do their activity they can walk around have a look what else is going on maybe go outside and then come back in and I think they'd really fit in and everyone's unique and I know a lot of people who've used Montessori um, who have you know cerebral palsy where their muscle development may not be so advanced but then you adjust you're like okay well they may not be able to do the gross motor things that another child would do but cognitively their development is still on we want to be working at their level wherever they're at so I'll support and guide wherever the child is so I say we say it's for every child and um, then you can adjust your parenting to meet their needs Okay, and you kind of touched on this earlier, but I just kind of wanted to emphasize this. Even if you don't start as a baby, because some of you moms and dads out there that are watching this, you may already have one or more children that are older than a baby, and maybe you're just hearing about this and you know you think it might be a good fit and you want to try it. Uh, this goes kind of goes without saying, Simone, but you know, can children enter this at any stage, or is there some sort of cutoff point, or how does that work? Well, I say it's never too early to start, but I also say it's never too late to start either. So if you've only discovered it and your child's going into elementary school, then 
you adjust. You only know what you know. You don't have to feel bad that you didn't weren't doing these things earlier, that you missed certain things. But you can start to observe your child and follow their needs, um, but also have your own limits. So it's not about everything becoming about the child. It's like these are my needs. This is my child's needs, and how can we all have our needs met? And so I think it's a really beautiful approach to raising children in a family. That's part of the child wants to contribute and wants to be part of it, and so you can start that at any age. That's great. Well, this is Simone's book. It's called The Montessori Baby. You can pick this up on Amazon or your local bookstore. And if you want to head on over to our website, it's newmommymedia.com. We've got more great videos like this, as well as podcasts, blog posts, anything you really need. And that is where real moms talk about real life. So we'll see you over there. Mm